Today I will be talking about picture brides. Picture brides were Japanese women who traveled to America from Japan during the early 1900s. This process was basically viewed as an arranged marriage which usually involved a Japanese woman receiving a photograph of a Japanese male from America. Then, after seeing the photo, the woman had to travel to America where she could be united with the male and they would be married. This all started during the time of strict restrictions on Japanese immigration. And since there was only a large Japanese population of men in America, they had a hard time finding wives and starting a family. By having an arranged marriage with the picture bride, it made this process a lot easier. Being a picture bride wasn't as glorious as it may have seemed at the time. They had to leave their families behind in hopes that one day they'll make it back home. It was seen as a chance to escape the type of poverty they were experiencing back home. A lot of them were also scared because the person they were about to marry was practically a stranger who they were going to spend the rest of their lives with, as well as coming to a foreign country, which they didn't know essentially really anything about. After coming here, many women had to earn wages as laundresses, field workers, or housekeepers while being illiterate or unable to write. Here are a few pictures that I found. The one on the right is a photo of a woman named Aoko Kikugawa. She volunteered to travel to Hawaii to marry her father's cousin's son after he was stood up by his original bride. The picture below is a picture of a group of picture brides at the immigration center once they arrived into America. I will now show you the timeline of how picture brides came to be. In 1907, the Gentlemen's Agreement was created. This limited the amount of Japanese immigrants traveling to the United States. Nearly 15 years later, in 1920, nearly 20,000 picture brides arrived in the United States, mainly residing in Hawaii. In 1924, the U.S. passed the Immigration Act, which further restricted the amount of Japanese people that were allowed to enter the United States. what occurred as a result of the picture brides. So essentially, they had three options. After the mass immigration of picture brides, many women who wanted a life being a wife ended up either being victims of prostitution or victims of abuse. Here is a picture of one of the picture brides. Her name was Kama Asada. She mentioned that her husband would beat her whenever he drank and would scare the children enough for them to hide and wait until he was done abusing her. It seemed like this was one of the many similar stories um, that picture brides tend to had, have had. However, some also returned back to Japan because of how unhappy they were with their situation and how much they really missed their families. However, while some effect accepted their fate and actually enjoyed being married and living long, happy lives with their husbands and children. For example, an interview was done of a woman named Hisano Ogaki. She is now 97 and she traveled to America as a picture bride when she was 22 at the time. Her family was one of the many who participated in arranged marriages. Scared and afraid, she wanted to return back to Japan because she was afraid of disappointing her parents. So she decided to stay in America and get married. She had mentioned that after meeting her husband, their life together was actually pretty happy. She also talked about the hardships of being a field worker and what her husband went through during that time. She said that children would throw eggs at him as he rode on a bike on his way to work and how his 22 year old son at the time had passed away from scarlet fever while being in a World War II camp.
camp. As you can tell, the life of a picture bride wasn't exactly the most ideal situation and it wasn't exactly the best situation either. They went through a lot of hardships. They were scared, they were afraid. They were traveling to a new country on their own. It was something new, something exciting, but also something very scary for most. And here is my works cited page. Thank you so much for listening.